Barbara Liss here, Montana Bliss Artworks, and today I want to show you what I did to help reduce the weight of my solid concrete sculptures. So I took a piece of styrofoam and I wrapped cellophane around it. It really isn't sticking, I just have to get a hold of it. There it goes. So I put that styrofoam with cellophane around it on my sculpting surface and then I started applying my concrete mix over it. The reason I did this is to reduce the weight of the concrete piece. This is uh, 26 pounds as it is with that hole in it and he's 22 inches tall and 10 inches wide. So I reduced it and the one thing I would have done differently is I would have allowed more space here. Structurally it's fine but it would have allowed more um, room for the hanger. My hanger will fit but I should have gone higher which made track of that because once you get it all covered with concrete you kind of lose track of where that foam is at in there and so maybe putting a mark on my uh, work surface but as you can see it gets covered with concrete slurry pretty quickly. So a couple other things I just thought I would share with you is the colorant in his features was put into the wet concrete. So I take Davis dye, which is a powder form that I get at the concrete plant, and I add my Admix mixture, which is a 50-50 mix of Admix and water and I add it to the colorant to make like a paint. So then I apply that onto the wet concrete with a brush. You wanna use a brush that's got smooth bristles and not already damaged by concrete, which are frayed and won't give you a straight enough line. So I put this on uh, the wet concrete and it starts to, when you're painting that on, get mixed in with the you know, wet concrete. And I like that doing it this way because I really like the aged look. So you see how it's a little more transparent and it really ages it rather than adding it later. And I also like to think it makes it more permanent. So it's the look that I choose to use. The other thing I did is there are, I did a little carving in it just to add a little more detail. And the one thing you need to do is whatever tool you're using to do that carving, you need to keep dipping it in water so that you're getting a nice, clean, smooth cut and it's not jaggedy. So it just added an, a little more features to this piece. And these are deer antler tips. And they were, of course, submerged into uh, the concrete um, when it was wet. very wet. So you don't want to do that when it's starting to set because you know concrete doesn't give. And if you're pushing that into set or starting to set concrete, it's going to resist that and you're going to crack it and it's going to uh, work away from the actual um, pieces you're inserting. So I re-wet that area uh, with my Admix to uh, make it um, a little softer again when I'm putting these pieces in. So that's all for today. I just wanted to share uh, my cavity in the back and how I created that and how it you know came out fairly easy and um, did help reduce um, the weight of this piece. Have a nice day and 
uh, if you're interested in seeing more videos, please like my page. Thank you. Barbara Liss, Montana Bliss Artworks, Hamilton, Montana.